Well, hello there. Welcome to Dino's World. Welcome to another episode of Dinopedia. And today we want to talk about the Honda E-Clutch technology that was launched uh, yesterday at IPA. So, how is this different from the Quick Shifter? Well, in the Quick Shifter, we have up and down shifts, clutchless up shifts, and clutchless down shifts. But there, the RPM needs to be matched. I mean, up shifts are done with the throttle pinned, and uh, usually at higher RPMs uh, or uh, while doing the red line and downshifts are done while doing the rev matching that's how the system works but here the e-clutch is pure comfort pure flexibility and pure usability and pure practicality and hats off to honda for coming up with such a fatigue free riding uh, option so what is the e-clutch well basically you can do the upshifts and downshifts as if thinking as if there was no clutch existent <laughs> i mean uh, thinking that there is no clutch at all just like uh, we had uh, something called uh, honda street hero honda street uh, back in the yester years here in india where there was no clutch and you could do upshifts and downshifts now this is kind of similar to it because and slightly different from it as well because it has a little bit of flexibility attached to it first of all uh, let me explain how the uh, e clutch works now during the gear change uh, it uses a harmonized combination of uh, half clutch operation, fuel injection cut and the ignition control to eliminate the shift shock or the jerks that we experience while upshifting or downshifting to make sure that you are getting an ultra smooth ride. Now the clutch control itself is managed through an actuator unit similar to those that is used in the Honda's uh, DCT transmission or dual clutch transmission which is already existing in the likes of Africa Twin. Now how this works is you just have to think as if there is no clutch existing and you have to go about it uh, just shifting up and down uh, as per your uh, whims and fancies. Yeah, You don't have to rev match, you don't have to make sure that the RPM is right. You just get going as if there is no clutch existing and you start using the gear shifts. Just like the IMT or the intelligent manual transmission that is introduced by Hyundai where the clutch is completely eliminated but you have the manual gearbox i think this is similar to that now you might be wondering dino by uh, where is the maza where is the kick of uh, riding a motorcycle when you're not using the clutch or popping the clutch and uh, when there is uh, no usage of clutch oh maza wo kick nahi aata yaar but here honda have retained that as well that is where the flexibility part comes so just in case you're riding casually and you forgot that this is a e clutch system and started using the clutch it works normally as if it is a clutch motorcycle i mean the motorcycle with a clutch so you don't have to worry that uh, uh, the system might get disrupted or anything so just in case you start using the clutch midway uh, with the system on it works normally like a manual motorcycle but uh, then you realize that no it's a e clutch system then you can do away the clutch and it works normally with the e clutch system and if you want to completely turn off the system, you have that option in the TFT console as well, where you can turn off the e-clutch system completely and use it like a normal motorcycle. Now that is where uh, the practicality meets flexibility and comfort meets, uh, you know, usability. And then of course, the performance is unmatched is what they say. And now looking at the benefits that the e-clutch uh, system uh, offers, it offers up and down clutchless shifts, uh, such that you can focus on uh, sheer riding pleasure. It offers precise clutch control because the onboard uh, computer does the clutch control for you. It also offers optimum acceleration such that enough juice is offered uh, even while shifting up or down. Then the manual clutch operation is switchable. As I told you, if you want to turn off the e-clutch system completely, you can just go ahead and turn off e-clutch system completely. Or if you want to use the convenience it has on offer, you can turn it on. So that is the flexibility it has on offer. We can focus more on riding performance. You can focus more on tackling corners far more aggressively. And uh, there is no clutch needed while starting or stopping. This is another major difference between this one and the quick shifter. In the quick shifter, we shift all the way up to uh, first gear and then we'll have to start using the clutch to ensure that the bike doesn't snap out on you out of nowhere or the bike doesn't stall on you. Here you don't have that risk, you don't have that fear of the bike snapping or stalling on you in the lower gears or in the first gear even while you are using the e-clutch system. So it is as smooth as you are using the regular uh, clutch uh, system while in the lower gears as well as well as the higher gears. So that is the kind of reassurance, completely fatigue free riding experience and completely peace of mind riding experience that 
Honda is offering here. So this e-clutch system is currently being launched in two models, the CB650R, their uh, inline four street fighter middleweight motorcycle and the CBR650R, which is again their inline four 650cc middleweight kind of sport tourer uh, slash super sport motorcycle because it has explosive power on off. So I can't wait to ride uh, either of these motorcycles once they are launched here in India with the e-clutch system. I'm sure they will launch it because they've already launched the Africa Twin with the DCT here. I'm sure for Indian conditions, it's absolutely tailor-made to offer a fatigue-free riding experience in this horrible chocker block city traffic. So this is about the e-clutch system. I want to explain to you. I hope you understood. I hope uh, the overall concept uh, is clear enough for you to understand as to how the Eclipse system works in real world conditions. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. God bless and ride safe.